Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I want to show you a piece from our modern and contemporary permanent collection. It is a piece by legendary artist Robert Rauschenberg, and the title is Goat Chow, and this is from his Chow Bags series that was created in 1977. When we look at this piece, we see what appears to be a flattened chow bag, with additions on it, such as something that might perhaps be a leaf in the middle, and then some other vague details and screen prints down below, which we will get to in a moment. This piece is from his chow bags series which I mentioned earlier and in this series he chose to focus on some of the more unusual animal feeds such as hog chow, monkey chow, mink chow, rabbit chow, calf startina which is a starter feed for calves and of course goat chow. The Appleton Museum of Art only owns the goat chow piece so I am focusing on that today. When we zoom in on this piece, we see the heads of four different types of goats, and then something is above them. What this area is, it would originally have had the Ralston Purina logo, but Rauschenberg has chosen to put an extreme detail of the cells of a leaf in that area. When we look further down on the piece in the checkerboard portion, we see he has screen printed things such as cars, perhaps a cityscape, some cars that appear to be struck, stuck in traffic. And these details were added to add a sense of playfulness and fully develop the piece. In addition, you can see on the lower extreme right hand side, some fibrous elements and Rauschenberg added this later to all of his pieces. This is the string that would have been at the top of a bag of goat chow, which held it closed. So he has included that in these details. And that's another thing I wanted to actually talk about. After he screen printed, he went in and hand added a lot of details such as graphite drawings, these fibrous strings, And he also created this pieces by originally creating a collage with an actual chow bag. Then he took a photograph of it, and that photograph was then used for the screen printing process. And then the details, as I just mentioned, were added later. This, of course, creates a very playful, a very charming version of a piece that we know very well because of course the Ralston Purina brand and especially its iconic red and white checkerboard is extremely embedded in American marketing and I think that's part of what he was doing. He was playing with those icons and playing with those logos to sort of create a new vision of something that is very iconic in American culture. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.